Today I'm drinking wine in my hometown Helsingborg in the south of Sweden in the coolest restaurant Drottninggatan 35. In this episode we'll explore the virtues of oxygen and what aeration can do to wine. To guide us through this process we have psychologist, inventor, researcher, museum curator and wine writer Dr. Samuel West. All right, Samuel, welcome to the Fine Wino. Love to be here. Great to have you here. We've uh, been allowed to borrow this restaurant for free uh, for a nice little tasting of a better uh, bottle of Bordeaux. Uh, but that's not the only thing we're going to do today. We're going to actually discuss and uh, test how a wine develops after having been aerated. And not aerated like you usually do in a carafe, but in this case, in the most uh, monstrously beautiful and uh, huge aerator I've ever seen in my life. And I believe this is your concoction. This is the uh, most exclusive and beautiful way to aerate a wine, but it's also the most fun. And how did you come up with this idea? It actually came to me in a, in a nightmarish dream. Um, I was uh, attacked by this sort of Willy Wonka factory uh, <laughs> of, of you know tubes and stuff and uh, uh, pipes of, of and, wine. And had you been drinking the night before? No comment. Okay. Um, and it just, I saw these visions of like the, the ultimate wine aerator. Okay. And so this dream slash nightmare kept, you know, repeating. So uh, I decided the best way to uh, get rid of the dream is to make it a reality. What's this thing called? This is called Wine Deck. It was originally called, our project name was Wino. Really? Yeah. But we well, thought it sounded first. a bit too much like an alcoholic, so. <laughs> Anyway, this is not the only thing you do. You're also a museum curator. You have the Museum of Failure, uh, which is now uh, wandering around the earth, uh, showing in various uh, innovations that have failed on mm -hmm. the market, and which has been a huge success, yeah. which is a nice little... Strangely uh, enough, the Museum of Failure is a success. <laughs> success. <laughs> and you're also launching a new museum uh, in the days to come, which is called what? It's called Disgusting Food Museum. Right. So it has nothing to do with the Museum of Failure uh, or my research on innovation but it's more focused on uh, getting people to reevaluate their notions of disgust. And, and why have you chosen this wine then? Well, the main reason I chose it is because it needs to be decanted for, for several hours before drinking. Because it's, it's, quite, it's quite young. It's quite young and it's a powerful wine. Why? Little yeah. yeah. You're not very generous with my wine. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> I want to aerate this. <laughs> I can already... First take a little sip of it and see what it's like and then maybe uh, uh, see what it's like after being aerated. And uh, let's comment a little bit on this color then. It's a nice little purplish thing. Very Bordeaux-like. Very Bordeaux. Sort of like the archetype of uh, exactly. the Bordeaux color. I mean, the, there's definitely like a solid, solid structure there, but there's not, the bouquet hasn't really opened up. Mm. Now, truth be said, I wouldn't be like really sad if somebody served me this wine. Not this. at all. Not at all. Wow. This was good. It's, it is, after but all, a f pretty famous chateau. It does have a long history. Of course, as in Bordeaux always does, they, they keep changing, uh, they take in new people, they buy new vines. This is actually from old vines, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's also from a very excellent year, the 2015, as, as all these 2015, 2010s, 2005s, they're always great in Bordeaux. But let's, let's see what happens. Let's try it, yeah. should, should I? All right, yeah, just pour it in. Pour You're it in taller there. than I am, so. I don't know if I can walk around here. Sorry about that. Here we go. I mean, Samuel, you're like a six-year-old kid. <laughs> it's beautiful. What it's like this? you can't, you can't, I mean, you can't look anywhere else. You have to stare at this. It's like a fireplace or an aquarium. So, um, what happens here? The sediment collects at the bottom of the first, the first stage. Okay. Um, so you don't. It, it does filter out the uh, the wine sediment, um, and then it goes through the, the aerating spiral and it's mixed with the perfect amount of air. And as you see, it bubbles every now and then as it comes out. Uh -huh. And then it goes into the, the laboratory-inspired carafe. I mean, I've heard French say, if when you aerate the wine, you wake it up. So it can get us to sleep. <laughs> so it can get us to sleep. <laughs> right, please, could you... Uh... It's going to be so exciting to see the difference now between the, Let's see. the aerated product and the non-aerated product because it was really quite nice. It wasn't. I mean, it <laughs> might be unfair to the aerator. Okay, it's it's already smoother and softer on, yes. the, on the on the nose. It's it's less blunt. Mm -hmm. Lots of cassis, leather, setter. Licorice. Oh, 
Mm. Oh man. That's an awesome green. That's awesome. soft, beautiful, silky tannins. Wow. And, and you know, it's, it's funny though, because uh, even in better restaurants where you buy, uh, if you buy a wine like this, a lot of times it's just served straight from the bottle. Mm. Buy a sommelier. Yeah. And uh, I mean, now I, I'm going to have to see what the difference is between these two now. Uh, but uh, it is already obvious that if you aerate it, it becomes twice, three times, four times as good. Give it a shot. There's a nice difference there. I'm not going to swirl it. <laughs> no, that's, that's cheating. It's, it's more alcohol. Uh, yeah, it's more. Yeah, acid. yeah. I mean, it sort of mellows out the the tops of the wine, oh, and yeah. it widens it out. And this is so much smoother. Uh, but this was, a, a, I mean, a, a large difference from from. It, it is. It really is, and it's it's. It's nice because I haven't done this before, where I get to try the same wine from the same bottle, one that is. Uh, has not been aerated mm -hmm. and one that has mm -hmm. been aerated because that's impossible mm -hmm. because I mean if I poured this wine mm -hmm. after two hours it would be exactly aerated. exactly you can't get that you so it's, it's only by doing it this way you can do that of course there are a lot of ways you can aerate your wine you, you, I'm not saying anything I mean, this is a beautiful product but you can do this <laughs> in, in a in cheaper a way yeah you can and less it. elegant way less elegant ways I mean you could just take the wine and pour it back and you forth you could do that and then you might spill of course but there are also little gimmicky things that you can yeah. stick on your bottle yeah. which are, do aerate the wine in, 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 a, in a manner at least it's it's uh, very powerful perfectly aerated yeah. if I'm say <laughs> thank so. you but okay. how, how does this work if we do this with with like not such a great wine. Yeah, so when we did the prototype testing, uh, we tested it on cheap wine as well. Okay. And it's almost better. You have some cheap wine. I have some cheap wine. Oh, it, come on. No, no, come on. No. Come on, you can't always drink expensive wine. Oh God, okay, right. well. We might, have you... to, we might have to edit this out. So. No. Go ahead. This is your a cab bag and box from, where is it from? Chile? Chile. All right. Don't pour a lot because we're not going to drink a lot, but go Cabernet for it. Sauvignon. I don't even know how to more, operate more, this more. thing. Come on. <laughs> don't know how to operate it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and try it unaerated. I notice how you don't display the bag and box in camera. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even, I'm, I'm not, I don't know what to do anymore. All right. So let's try it. Let's try. It's, it's unfair to try this one now after the Bordeaux, yes. but um, That's <laughs> yeah, a smoky, uh, earthy. Uh, it's not smoky. It smells like sewage, <laughs> open sewage. With a fire in it. I, I'm not even exaggerating. The bouquet it's, is not a bouquet. It's a offense. An offense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the actual pa packaging. They need more sulfides as a preservative. Okay. So they're much heavily... Um, um, so this is not the same, because I think you can get that in a bottle. Yeah, yeah, but you, the, the bottled wine. wine and a bag and box wine of the same wine are two different Really? Things. I didn't know that. Yes. So, now, you've tried this one now. Yes, and I think I've done enough of that. Yeah. Now keep, keep, keep that glass. This is a nice one. Put it inside. I haven't tried the aerator with this wine specifically, but I've tried it with a lot of bag and box wines and I think I I think you're in for a surprise here well, okay immediately that smoky that I'm smoky uh, the sewage thing sewage smoky sewage <laughs> <laughs> is pretty much gone it's gone it's gone I'm telling you, it's 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 still not a great wine but you you can't this is not the same wine so this bag and box just went from cheap undrinkable to okay wine this is amazing yeah this is amazing i mean I, i'm going to start aerating the the, the, the shitty wines mm. that's much more important mm. i would pay easily 10 bucks for a bottle yeah. of this so, i mean the, i mean when we tested it the 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 cheap wines especially the bag and box wines the the quality sort of drinking quality experience just increases exponentially amazing mm. so cheers cheap wine Cheers to cheap wine. How about this? We can continue to drink. You can keep keep drinking this one, and I'll I'll finish off this one. I think it's not. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's still not good, but it's, it's much not better. bad. No, it's, it's not, not bad. bad. No, it's not bad at all. And and imagine like everybody who drinks 
bag and box wines. They I just swirled the water. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end of the video, swirling water. <laughs> um, most people, I mean, when you drink a bag and box wine, you pour it right in the glass. That's the whole point, yes, right? Yes. But what you should do... Or it's just right in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what you should do, I mean, even if you don't have a wine aerator, um, uh, what you should do is you should aerate your bag and box wine. Absolutely. You've convinced me. Yeah. Definitely. Dr. Samuel West, it's been a great pleasure to have you here on The Fine Wino, and uh, in particular uh, teaching us uh, the, the virtues of aerated wine, and, and even more in particular, the virtues of aerated cheap wines. Yeah. Uh, because uh, drinking a fine Bordeaux is, is not like a terrible experience. No. Uh, so thank you very much. And I just need I'm to gonna, remember, I'm going I, I to take my, that one, the there. nice one. <laughs> Cheers. With that one. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Mm. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. Maybe there's somebody you would like to see me drink wine. Inbox me in that case. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. Cheers. All right, Samuel, uh, I always do this in each clip. I try to get my uh, lovely photographer, Christian, to uh, appreciate the wines he's drinking. So far, not doing so well. It's like pearls for swine, it really is. But yeah. Christian, come over here. It's time for you to taste this because at least you can see the difference between an aerated wine, a nice Bordeaux, a nice aerated Bordeaux, and mm -hmm. a cheap, uh, not so aerated uh, bag and box. Come on over. Here he comes. So this is the unaerated bag and box. Right. And this is the aerated Bordeaux. Chili and Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. And uh, Les Griffons de Pichon Baron Pauillac from Bordeaux, 2015, aerated. Let's Start see. with the cheap one. The cheap Smell one. Smell it first. It's pretty horrible. It's sour. <laughs> it's... Um, not good at all. <laughs> Try this one then. So this is this one's supposed to be a lot better. Oh yes. Okay. Not only supposed to. Really. It is much better. <laughs> I can't tell a difference. You can't tell a difference I can't with tell him. A difference. I gotta change photography. What, what's yeah, this? yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a good. He's a, he's a. He's a nice he, guy. He does. He's a nice films. guy, but he nice. doesn't know yeah. anything about wine. Get out of here. <laughs> Lucky for us, then we can drink the rest of the Bordeaux. That's. Always the case. That's why I picked him. <laughs>